just got a question on my um, game Cirque Elite Xbox Edition settings. So I wanted to quickly show those. <clears throat> I've shown my, uh, my G7SE settings before and my T4K settings, but never my Xbox Khalid settings. So here they are. On my left uh, paddle, I've got B for crouch, and my right is A for jump. Um, my stick dead zones. Okay, so I used to I used to like play something like this, like zero and ninety nine. That kind of sucked. Um, you would think it would be good, but like with from experience, I think it kind of sucked. It just made it feel um, not very raw. Like so, okay. So raw mode kind of sucks because I like it at first, but it, it the aim assist just doesn't feel as sticky. Like it feels like you have to do everything with it. Like the aim assist doesn't really take over, um, and I don't know. It just feels inconsistent. It almost feels like the aim assist is programmed for like sort of a, a different. Basically, it feels quicker than what the aim assist is programmed for. It feels like you, your controller is responding quicker than, like, the aim assist can't really keep up with it. So sometimes the aim assist almost, like, bugs out when you have it on raw mode. Uh, that's on Apex specifically. I don't know about other games, but, yeah, it felt pretty bad. So, um, well, it actually felt great, but um, just inconsistent because the aim assist sometimes just felt like it was non-existent. So, um, yeah, I don't play raw mode. Um, I switched back to this. And then, like, I was on this for a long time, like, 99 for the maximum, but, um, it, uh, it sucks, too. Like, it just, basically, if you play on 0 and 100, it feels like you have most of the benefits of raw mode, but with the benefits of not playing raw mode. Basically, it's, it's the best of both worlds, so I definitely, definitely recommend, uh, 0 and 100. Also, like, you don't really want to have a dead zone, uh, outside of the game, you know, like, like a, uh, a software dead zone that's almost always going to be really really bad because you whatever game you're playing has dead zones built into it so like there's really no need to uh to add an additional software dead zone on top of the dead zone that's already in the game like if you think of uh like any default controller like every pro player in every game just uses like default playstation controllers usually or xbox controllers depending on the platform <clears throat> and like you're best off with just absolute default dead zones, zero and hundred. That's what you want. Um, yeah, triggers. I get asked about this a lot. Do I use air triggers or not? Um, usually on other games or controllers, like the G7 SE and the T4K, I find that hair triggers suck. But on this controller here, I find that hair triggers are actually really, really good. Well, like not really, really good, but they don't suck. So I use them. Um, and yeah, I don't really have any issues with them. Whereas on the G7 SE, I kind of ran into issues with consistency with uh, with the hair triggers. So yeah, on the on the on the Xbox Khalid, I'm, I'm definitely I'm really really liking the hair triggers. Um, if I didn't use hair triggers, I would use zero and one. Um, I might use like zero and five. That's about the same. It doesn't really matter exactly what you set this to. Um, you could also set it to like two and like five, for example. If this like if the hair trigger is too sensitive for you, you could do like two and five. I definitely wouldn't recommend like going past like maybe like 10 though i'd say like 10 is probably the maximum that you would want to do because 10 is just like way too much um you know like anything past 10 like it's like why you know unless you're playing a racing game uh th then if, if you're playing a racing game then maybe you'd want to do like that like a game with cars or whatever but that's not really what we're talking about here so we're talking about like you know you gotta do like zero and five for like a shooter um you can go like, if it's way too sensitive for you, then you could do like five and 10, something like that. Um, but overall I'd recommend zero and one. If you're not using hair triggers, I think this is basically the same as hair triggers. I find it though to be more consistent on other games or controllers, but on this one, I think the hair triggers well, works very well for me so far, at least. I haven't, I have not run into any issues with hair triggers on this controller. Okay, uh, I don't use this. I don't really know. I don't even, I have no opinion on this. Lighting, uh, do whatever you like. So, yeah, that's it.